Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 sub and full four. So today guys will be doing our Champions League second qualifying round prediction So if you're new on here guys considering that like button hit the subscribe button as well as we do our predictions Before we move on to round two I want to go ahead and recap with you guys my round one predictions and see how many we got right Okay, so for the first round I predicted Hakan. Hakan did advance so congratulations to them got one point for that Ludogrets they did advance so two points for me Shamrock Rovers, they actually lost. They're not in this round, so got a L for that. Zalgaris, I did get correctly predict them to advance, so three points for me. Farron's Varos, I did predict to advance, and they actually lost. Oh, by the way, so I, I just remembered to do this. There will be a link in the description below to my Champions League first qualifying round prediction, so there will be somewhere in the playlist, so you guys can check that video out uh, for more details I said there. Anyways, so yeah, Farron's Varos, I messed up with it. Olympia, I predicted to advance, and they did advance. HAK, they advance as I predicted. Horabek, they advance as I predicted. Rakal, they advance as I predicted. Slavia and Batis they predict they advance as I predicted. Sheriff Tirasapol, they advanced. Makeba Hafia, they advanced. Zuniski, um, they also advanced. And Partizani did not advance, they actually lost. And Astana advanced. So overall, I did pretty well with my predictions. I basically messed up with I think four predictions I messed up with. I messed up with Shamrock Rovers, I messed up with Ferenc Varos, I messed up with um, Partizani, and I messed up with, yeah, I think that's it, actually. Yeah, that's it. So, 8 out of, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I got 11 out of, 12 out of 15. I think that's pretty solid. I think that's a pretty solid predictions. And let's see how many I can get right for this round. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the first game, which we have here is Zalgaris versus Galatasaray. Zalgaris, what they did was incredible you know i think the first leg was a draw and i think the second leg they won they did a comeback i believe and you know it's going to be interesting to see how they do against galatasaray galatasaray for me have an insane team of course they won the turkish league they've done amazing you know they have new players now like icardi has been balling um he's been incredible for them and then you know and i just feel like for me this galatasaray team have too much quality especially with the second leg at being at home i just find it very difficult for Zalgiris to do it. The only way I could see them doing it is if Zalgiris win the first like by a huge score score line like 3-0 at least to advance. So yeah, I, I think Galatasaray is going to advance. So Galatasaray for me to advance. Next up, it is Ludogrets versus Olympia. This is a very interesting one. I'm kind of really not sure how I go for this one because Ludogrets, what they did in the second league was phenomenal. They scored four goals against Balkany. Olympia, on the other hand, have also been good as well. This is a very, very tricky one to call. Um, because I, I was impressed with both teams. I will give the edge to... I think I'm going to give the edge to Ludogrets. I feel like even though Olympia do have the second leg at home, I feel like Ludogrets, they can do this. And I think what they did again in the last round was very commendable against Balkany. And I feel like they had a much more difficult challenge, whereas I feel like Olympia's challenge wasn't as difficult. So... It's going to be interesting because Ludogrets pretty much have to win the first leg by a really big score line, in my opinion, because I don't really trust them on the road, to be honest with you. So this is kind of a, a gamble on this one, but I am going to give Ludogrets a slight edge to advance on this one. Next up, it is Rocco versus Quarterback. I am going to go with, um, for let's talk about Rocco. Rocco, what they did was incredible to get here. You know, um, they obviously beat the team that they should. And Quarterback also beat a team that they should, they've expected. They thrashed, I think, Lincoln Red Ems was the team. And Rocco, I think they won 3 0 in aggregate, I believe. So, this one, guys, I'm going to go with Quarterback. I think Quarterback have too much quality, especially with the second leg at home. They just have too much quality. This is a team you shouldn't sleep upon. Rocco, I commend them for doing this well. I just think it's going to be very difficult for Espet and this one in particular. So, best of luck to, to the Polish club. Next up is KI versus Hockey. I cannot believe KI have just eliminated Ferenc Vars. I mean, 3 0 on aggregate? I mean, that's incredible. Like, I didn't even expect that. I believe I completely disrespected KI. I have to owe them an apology. I have to give them an apology because this owes an apology, guys. So, any KI fans watching this, anyone from Faroe Islands watching this, my sincerest apologies because I uh, just got destroyed. <laughs> So, I, I feel like I took a huge L there. Regardless, they're playing against Hakim. Now, do I think the fairy tale will continue? It could very well do. B. However, I don't think so. And you know why I say that? Is because the second leg is away. 
And even though they did get the job done against Ferran's Varos oh, 3-0 on aggregate, I believe Hakim will give a better challenge. Ferran's Varos had nothing going forward, and I feel like Hakim, what they did was incredible. They eliminated, they scored five goals in the last matchup. So, in the last tie. So, I just don't see it. I hope I'm wrong. I would love to be proven wrong again, but I just don't think it's going to happen. I feel like if it happens again, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Who knows? Maybe I'm jinxing this club. <laughs> okay, next up is HJK versus um, uh, Mold. I'll be very, very honest with you guys. I was not impressed with HJK. They barely scraped through against, uh, what was that? I think was it Larn? I think that's the team name. Yeah, I think that's the team name. They were not convincing. They required an own goal in extra time. They were minutes away from screwing it up. A minutes away from sending this to penalties. They even screwed up the lead, you know. And I just feel like with me, with Mold, having given them the fact that they won the Norwegian League, I'm just really convinced of that. I think they've been amazing. You know, they haven't been as good in the new season compared to last season. But still, I feel like this team has everything for them. The second leg being at home, I think, is a great, great advantage as well. And I just don't trust AJK. I just don't trust AJK on the road in particular. And that's is why I have Mold to advance. So sorry, Michael Talks Football. I wish I'm wrong. I actually would prefer to see AJK, but I just feel like for me, Mold is going to do this. So, sorry to all Finnish fans and all AJK fans. Um, I do think Mold will advance on this one. Then, man, next up is Bredobank versus Copenhagen. Another insane upset. I think this is also another big upset. Obviously, it's not talked about as much as KI, but still, this is a big one. Bredobank eliminated Shamrock Rovers. I even said in my video that I wouldn't be surprised they do because I was not impressed with Shamrock Rovers that much. And guys, I'll be honest with you guys, I could see them doing it again. Copenhagen for me, yes, they have a good team and all. I just don't think they're as good as people say they are. And I feel like for me, Broderbeck have just that passion. They have that motivation. They have that character in them. And I think the key for them to advance this matchup is to win the first leg. If they win the first leg, that's a great position because the second leg is on the road. So this is why I'm a bit concerned. I you know I would pick Open Heaven normally. I would honestly pick them, but because I feel like there's going to be an upset, I feel like Cope and Bredebeck is going to do it. I have a sneaky feeling they're going to do it again, guys. I feel like they're going to win the first leg and then the second leg will be a draw. Ah, uh, I I mean it's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be interesting, but yeah, I have an upset for this one. Next up it is Sheriff Terrasapol versus Maccabi Hafia. Obviously these two teams have made huge strides, have shocked people in the football world by beating two Giants, respectively, Real Madrid and Juventus, and the Champions League. Um, For this one, guys, I think it's going to be an interesting one. Um, I am going to go with my KB Hafia, though. I feel like for me, Sheriff, like I said, this team isn't the same as they used to be. Um, And I feel like the second leg being away is going to be very difficult for Sheriff. I don't think they have what it takes to do it. My KB Hafia, on the other hand, have looked amazing. I think what they did to get here has been incredible, and I feel like they're going to do it. I feel like they're going to beat Sheriff Terrasipal, and it's going to be a very interesting matchup to see what happens. Okay, next up it is, um, I believe this is um, Aris versus Bait, I believe. Um, I am going to go with, for this one, um, this is a very difficult one to call because, you know, um, Bait, on the other hand, they just they defeated, um, what was it called? I think it was a Partizani. And they did it in pretty convincing fashion. So I was really impressed with them. And especially the second league being at home, I think they're going to do it. So I'm going to go with Bait to advance. Um, I always say um, best of luck to them. Um, I believe they're from Cyprus. So we'll see what they can do. I just don't really think they're going to do it. I feel like Bait have too much quality in their team to do this. And I feel like they will advance. Next up, it is um, we have Zerinsky. Zir- Zir- I'm probably watching these names. Versus Slovian Bacis play. It's a very interesting matchup. I am going to go with Slovenia and Barca. I feel like they're a very good team. I like this team a lot. I think this team is a, um, this team was fantastic in the Conference League last season. And I feel like for me with Slovenia and Barca, they're just a good team. Um, they they just play good football. They're well uh, well branded as well. And I feel like the second leg being at home is just a great advantage. And I think they're going to they're gonna handle it, I think. You know, for Zerinsky, I think they're going to have to win the first leg. If they can win the first leg... That they can do because my issue is that I don't really trust, um, um, I don't really trust these kind of teams on the road. You know, I just don't really trust them. So, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be interesting though to see what happens. But yeah, I'm gonna go to Slovenia to play. Then we have Denim Zaga versus Astana. Um, this is gonna be a big one, guys. I believe this is the last Champions match, 
And by the way, guys, I forgot to mention this earlier. The losers of these matchups will advance to the Europa Conference League. So they'll go down to that competition. For this one, guys, I'm going to go Dynamo Zagreb. I think they have too much quality. Yes, they don't have the second leg at home, which could be um, which could be problematic. I feel like they're going to win the first leg by a good margin, and I think the second leg will just be a formality. Because I will say this, though. I don't trust Croatian teams that much on the road, and this is where I feel like Astana could maybe capitalize. But yeah, I'm going to go with Dynamo Zagreb. I'm going to go with Dynamo Zagreb to advance. So we now have the league matches. We have Dinner Pro 1 versus Panathikins. This is a very difficult matchup to call. I think this might be one of the most tight, tightly contested ones um, to call. Because, like I said, I think this one could go to penalties. Um, and this one, guys, I'm going to go with Dinner Pro 1. I feel like, for me, what they did last season the conference league was commendable. And I feel like they can do this. So, But the key is they have to win the first leg. Because if they don't win the first leg, they're not winning the second leg. I don't believe they will. Because the Greece teams are generally pretty good at home. So... Um, I am going to go Dinner Pro 1 to advance, but this is going to be very, very close. So I can see Panathikins doing it as well. With the home field advantage of the second leg. Uh, the final league, the final matchup we have here is Servet versus Gank. I'm going to go with Gank to advance here. I feel like they have too much quality. And, of course, they were very, very close to winning the Belgian Pro League and the Dying Embers of the game. And, obviously, we know what happened. It was, obviously, Antwerp that won the league. So I did a video reaction to that if you guys want to check it out. Um, I'll, leave a link, I'll leave a link somewhere in the... Uh, cards and yeah man it's gonna be interesting but yeah i'm gonna go with the gang to advance so i hope you guys did enjoy this prediction video please let me know your predictions in the comments below guys you guys remember guys if you made it this far please consider that like button hit that subscribe button as well and let's see how many you could get right for the third qualifying round of the champions game guys the games will take place in the next two weeks respectively all right take care guys peace out